when life gives you lemons. Oh. Hang on for the loop. Four, three, two, one. I'm Jamie. Jamie, what's what's happening? What's going on? I'm in a funk. I'm having a real bad day. But this episode's all about joy. But I'm having a bad day. I couldn't sleep last night. The dog next door kept me awake. And then this morning, I made this delicious breakfast smoothie. And then I spilled it all over the top that I wanted to wear. And now the sun isn't out. And how am I supposed to be joyful on a day where there's no sun? I get it. That's a really hard way to start your day. But on the bright side, tomorrow's weather is looking to be a little bit better. Mm, Okay, well, let's check in with Wendy at the Loop Show Weather Studio and get the forecast. Thanks, Jimmy. Well, guys, if bad days are bananas, I'm looking at a whole bunch. Your old friend Wendy woke up on the wrong side of the bed. I'm calling it now. This will be a rotten week. Other channels might be predicting sunshine and lollipops, but don't listen to them. Forget the radar. My outlook says, prepare for doom and gloom. (laughs) Today, a dark rain cloud will appear above your head, both outdoors and indoors. It won't leave, no matter how much ice cream you eat. Looking midweek, the glass is certainly half empty, and it's filled with tears and sour milk. Expect the worst, because (gasps) that's what you'll find. And just like the other shoe, temperatures will drop and moods will be icy. Go ahead and cancel your weekend parades because Saturday will be a sadder day. In all my years as a meteorologist, I've never seen the sun disappear from the sky. But my gut says this is the week. (laughs) The sun will blip out of our solar system never to return. Joy is on a vacation at the beach, but you're not invited. (laughs) Instead, you've got a one-way canoe trip down Crimea River. Do you understand? Blue skies are done, man. A thing of the past. Where is your umbrella now? (laughs) It is puny and will do nothing to stop a torrential downpour of despair that will wash away all of your cheer and laughter. (laughs) This is the weather of misery. And it is forever. For Loop Show Weather, I'm Wendy Rainbow Perkins. Back to you in the studio, guys. Yeesh. Is that what I sound like? No, Jamie, no. You were just talking about having a bad day. That was a whole nother level. Okay, because I know that I'm feeling funky, but I know that it's not forever. And you're right, it can be difficult to find joy when things aren't going so great. Uh, What's something that you do to help you when you're having a tough day? Uh, Sometimes I'll call my friends or my big sister, or sometimes I really like to watch silly animal videos. (laughs) That's great. (laughs) Yeah, I like to uh, dance uh, or listen to worship music. Those are the things I do. Usually puts me in a better mood. Uh, Something else that might help you is practicing gratitude. Let's check this out. Big stuff! Tiny book! Are you having a bad day? When your joy meter is running on empty, practicing gratitude can fill your joy tank. Gratitude reminds us how God cares for us. It brings us back to what matters, even on our really, really bad days. But how do you do it? This book is about how to have full appreciation for the joyful blessings all around you, even right now in this moment. What's appreciation mean? Recognition and enjoyment of the good qualities of someone or something. Similar things, respect, cherishing, treasuring, admiration. What's the alternative? Ungratefulness. It looks like maybe some of these things. When you're ungrateful, you worry about the gifts that you don't have. You compare your joy to someone else's and you think you don't have enough or you think you deserve special treatment and everyone owes it to you. Ungratefulness takes a bad day and piles on cynicism, jealousy, and entitlement. Those things drain joy and makes you feel awful on top of awful. Okay, so here's some good tips on how to notice good things. Name three things that you're grateful for. 
even on a bad day, you can think of three things. They can be big or they can be small. Write them down. This is called a gratitude journal. Keep a record of the things you appreciate so you can revisit it later. Don't be in a rush. Enjoy good things the moment they happen and be vocal. When you appreciate someone, tell them. Start with, hey, thanks for dot, dot, dot. Maybe you've got those tips down. You wanna try some next level gratitude? You can try one of these. Find gratitude in your challenges. What can you appreciate even when things are tough? Or maybe serve others with gratitude. Appreciate the people around you by helping them out. Gratitude is appreciating our good God for the love he shows us in every moment. It redirects us to contentment, thankfulness, and joy. In an effort to pep up Jamie's day, we are going to try the Flavor Twist Challenge. Woohoo! So, there's a berry called Sincepilum delsificum that grows in West Africa. Here it is. Yeah. And it's often called the miracle berry or the sweet berry. It's known for twisting your taste buds. Yeah, so the molecules of the fruit bind to your taste buds, causing sour foods to taste sweet. We've actually already tried the berries, so we're ready to do the taste test now. Uh, the berries themselves don't taste too great. But yeah. we're gonna see, can sour foods taste sweet? Um, I'll go with this, because I feel like this is like yeah. really diving in. Yeah, this is a lime. Limes are known for being very sour. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. And we had two berries. Okay, let's see. No. Sorry. Wait. <gasps> Wait. It got really sweet after. Really? Uh, yes. You just, you just... Sorry, I'm ready, man. <laughs> Out the gate. No. Right? So it tastes super sour when you very first like try it, but then it gets really sweet. It tastes yeah. like a Skittle, like a lime it Skittle. Does. It does. And, so, and lime Skittles taste nothing like lime. Mm. Yeah. Oh, uh, Now grapefruit is very tart. Yes. And it is very difficult. I to never get eat it. Let's take a big old bite. You want to take a bite? Oh, um, yeah, go for it. Thank you, Jamie. <laughs> Thank you. What? No. Oh, yeah. No. It's sour on the tip of my tongue. Okay, I've had grapefruit before, and my face looks like this. It's like, uh, uh. if you've ever had grapefruit, please confirm. It's very bitter. This is so sweet. Mm -hmm. Th this is insane. Mm. I don't, I don't understand how that does that. How do you do this? Mm. It tastes like you sprinkled sugar on top of a strawberry. This is my first strawberry, so I, I I'm probably not helpful in this in this. You've never tried test. strawberry before. Um, <laughs> this is my first strawberry. Like I had like smoothies with strawberries in it, but never just what? like a strawberry by itself. So this is my first strawberry, so I can't tell you what it tastes. Like Wait a second. Was. Why have you never tasted a real strawberry? Hi, Jamie. My name is Ricky. Welcome to Loop Show. I'm a picky eater. I don't eat fruits. Typically, I don't, I don't eat fruits outside of like putting them in a blender and and, and 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 blending it. Why? I'm very intrigued to try a tomato and see what it what it does to a tomato. Oh, this is a tomato. Oh, weird. Cherry tomato, huh? Yeah. Have you never had a cherry tomato either? I have had a cherry tomato. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's weird. That's not right. Imagine if ketchup <laughs> tasted sweet. That, that's kind of what it tastes like. And that's okay. not that's not a that's not a good flavor for me. Mm. Do you no. like barbecue sauce? Love barbecue sauce. You do? My favorite is the strawberry. What's your favorite? My favorite is the lime. Okay. Well you eat some lime, I'll eat some strawberry. You guys check this out. All 
right, here we are, round two, with 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 a bunch of things on the plates. What's uh, this? We, I hate pickles. I don't like bread and butter pickles. I hate pickles. Ew. Ew. Oh. Mm -mm. oh. Mm -mm. We have pickles. Mm -hmm. We have saltines covered in hot sauce. We have Vegemite and broccoli for some reason, as well as some sea salt and vinegar potato chips. All which right. I love. I love sea salt and vinegar. I do chips. not. Let's give them a try. Okay, I'm gonna try to do it with the back of my tongue because I don't trust. Well, I guess I can. Really? No, they taste like kettle chips. That's insane. Like, that's um, that, really bizarre. Like kettle corn, like sweet. Yeah. These taste like sugar chips. These are, that's insane. Oh man. Okay, I'm gonna broccoli. I'm really curious about the hot sauce. Doesn't taste sweet. All right, let's try the hot sauce. But it doesn't taste as bad as I thought it would. Well, I mean, I like broccoli, but I mean, still, raw broccoli I'm not really into. Is it sweet? This is so weird. My mouth doesn't know what's happening. Like, who's out there? What's happening? I know you don't really like spicy food. How's that taste? Oh, yeah. Not good on the tip of my tongue. Wow, that's spicy. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> that's spicy. Yeah. You still feel the tingle, but what does it taste like? Ooh, um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it does taste sweet and spicy, so I guess I guess it's working. All right, let's... Uh, the Vegemite. You know what, <laughs> it's they, so they thick, they the spoon won't even come out. I, I don't know. Okay, let's you try. You don't know about what? <laughs> no, I, let's just go, let's go for the Vegemite. So in Loop Show history, this is one of the worst things we've ever tasted. Ugh, it smells um, so bad. Yeah, let's give it, let's give it a taste. Ah! That's very, very much still Vegemite. Oh. I'm gonna wash it down with the, with the salt and vinegar chip. Well, that evaporated Jamie. And that's it. All right, here we go. Hmm, here we go. I'll do it with you, Ricky. Pickle. All right. Well, it's because it's a, um, Ugh. what kind of, what are they called? Butter pickles? It is a dill pickle? That's a dill pickle. Whoa, I thought it was a bread and butter pickle, and I was like, gross. Huh. He did so good. I ate the pickle. Woo, and there was much rejoicing. Woo, yeah. Review. That wasn't that bad. <gasps> I would what? still never choose it, ever. As far as consuming a pickle, that's probably the best experience I will ever have with it. <gasps> Yay! Good job finding joy in a bad day. My eyes are watering. If you look for the good, you can find good. If you look for the bad, you'll find bad. If you wanna see what's wrong every single day, you can find what's wrong every single day. If you wanna not like people, you can find a ton of reasons to not like people. But if you wanna look for God, if you wanna see faith, if you wanna see the best, you can. It's just like the difference between a vulture and a hummingbird. What does a vulture find? Every day, vulture flies around. What does a vulture find? Dead stuff dead things, roadkill. But what does a hummingbird find? Every day the hummingbird finds sweet things. I promise you, you'll always find whatever you're looking for. If you wanna see what's wrong, what's bad, what's not working, what's wrong with the world, you can live a really depressed, negative life. But instead, if you wanna look for where God is working, you can see he's still on the throne <laughs> and he's still good and he's still powerful and he still answers prayers. You know, the thing I love so much about joy is all of the places that you can experience it. Okay, so like we know pain happens. We know that, that we, we feel the weight of things that happen in our lives and we can be put down by them. But we know that joy can be experienced on the other side of it. As a matter of fact, joy is so sweet when it comes on the other side of something devastating that happens to us. And we've all had those sorts of things that have happened in our lives. Joy comes from God. He's the only person that can give us this sense of joy regardless of the circumstances. So even in the middle of your pain, you can still be overcome with God's joy.
My grandpa passed away a few years ago and I got the honor to do his funeral and it, it, was a, it was a wonderful day, it was a wonderful service, but I'm not gonna lie, it was tough. It was really tough. And I was so overcome with emotion, I was so overcome with this idea that like here on earth, I'll never see my grandfather again. And then in that moment and in moments going forward, God has reminded me I will see him again. That's joy in the middle of my pain. But even at the funeral service, I remember feeling so much pain that this is happening. And then we did the part of the service where we asked people to tell stories about my grandfather and people got up after people after people and they were telling all these stories about how my grandfather made them feel, how he made them feel cared for and loved. And in this moment, I'm feeling this pain. God is reminding me that there is joy. He's reminding me that he is with me. Pain happens. Joy is a choice. Choose joy, regardless of your circumstances. Choose to find your joy in God. Yay, you ate a pickle! Thank you for making my day better. Happy to do it. We all have bad days and sometimes, honestly, bad months. But we know that sour circumstances don't define our joy. We can take the time to stop and spot the simple joys in our everyday life. Taking a deep breath and focusing on God helps me see His joys around me. What's something that you're grateful for right now? Shout it out! Let's uh, hear it! Huh? Yeah. Uh-huh. Skittles? Well, I like grape Skittles. Yeah. Copyrighted music tracks? I love that too. Sing it out. Just from the start. That's cool, guys. Yeah. We all have something that we can thank God for. Even on our bad days. Until we see you next time, enjoy, enjoy the ride. ride. I'm gonna enjoy these chips. Oh, do it. Mm. We did another challenge that mm -hmm. I think that you'll like. It's called mm -hmm. the Itchy Sweater Challenge. Mm -hmm. We put something real gross. We're not gonna tell you what we put in our sweaters, but we'll give you hints. It was something real gross. Something off a bird, something off a human, something off a sheep. Yeah, and our sweaters, check it out. Subscribe. <laughs>